I'm John Dillon, this is Richard Dillon. Another Monday morning, just to get ourselves started, set the tone for the week, okay? So we've got a great little workout for you today. I'm back after a bit of shoulder injury, so I'm avoiding too much shoulder work, just while I recuperate. We've got our next size uh, session called Core Good Legs, <clears throat> okay? So core and leg work, cardio. So a nice little all round, all rounder. So let's put that to do a bit cracking, shall we? Okay, so we're going to do a bit of a warm up to start with, main section and the finisher, all right? <clears throat> Nice little um, cardio burst at the end, so keep that back in your mind, but don't slap off on the rest of it, okay? So let's start with a bit of jogging on the spot, not too fast, get more than that. In five, four, <coughs> three, three, That's two, good. one, go. Okay, so let's get those legs activated, okay? If you find jogging on the spot hard, you can always do a march, nice high knees, really move the arms. So I'll be doing easier versions, intermediate versions of the exercises and Richard will be doing the more difficult versions. Say some of them might be the same, there's not too many variations of some of them. Just do as much as you can, work still as hard as you can. Okay, good. I'm going to show you from the side. Split start to remaining deadlift. Front leg is, is straight, back leg is slightly bent, you just sort of lean forward and back. One round down. Go. Nice flat back. Looking forward. Again, you can do this with normal weights. This is a good one. Work individual legs, but also stretching out the hamstrings. We'll split starts at halfway. Halfway. Okay, so pop it over. Hamstrings will feel a bit tight at the start. Done. Great stuff. Okay, on to skier swings next, guys. Down and up. Which is going to go up onto his toes. Harder than this one. Go. And get the balance right on the toes. Or you can just come flat footed, straight back, looking forward. More the straight back. You can do any form of squatting. Take the pressure off that lower back. So one more exercise for the warm up after this. It's quite a short warm up, just so we can fit in a bit of a finisher at the end. Stop and stop. Hands and knees now. The rest of the rotation. Just get that those shoulders warm up, warmed up that thoracic area. Fingers on temples. Three rounds down. Go. Elbow to elbow. Looking up over the shoulder. Halfway. Change arms. Stop. And stop. Wonderful guys. Alright, that was your warm up. Short and sweet. Grab some water if you need some. We're going to go into our main section now. So we've got 12 exercises. We're going, to go, we're going to go through three times round this main section, okay? 25 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So short reverse, but really put the effort in. Combination of legs, cardio, and core. Halfway. All right, guys, 15 seconds. Then we'll get going. We're going to do a bottom half squat pulse. So it's going to be toes facing forward on this one, not, not sumo stance. And then you get low, stay low, just pulse. Couple of inches up and down, okay? So the legs are constantly working. One cycle. So five seconds, we're going. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So it's down, and just that small little pulse at the bottom. So you can do what you want with your hands, which is crossing them, and I've got mine together, as long as we're not taking the weight on the thigh, which is quite common That's to do when we start getting tired. Again, my side, if you do get too tired doing this, just come up. Have a rest for a second or so, and then go back down again. Just do as much as you can. Stop. Okay, great. So we're going to do a plank now, a straight arm plank. I'm going to do it on the elbows. So do a straight arm plank. Okay, you can knock your knees if you need to, like I'm going to show you. One round down. Good. So you can stretch right up. 
Or as you can see, reach his, on his toes, keep that core nice and engaged. Halfway. Chest over your hands. Great stuff. We're on our feet after this one. Stop. Good. Okay, forward backward lunge. So it's going to be one forward lunge and then a backward one. Okay. This gets your balance. So again, feet on train tracks. Round down. Go. Go forward and back. So we're going to stay same leg and chop swap at my halfway. You can speed it up as you get out there. Swap legs now. Okay, you can just touch legs in between me to make it a bit easier. Yeah, that's right, like that. This one. Like that. So, so I break it down into two separate slunges in a way. Stop. Okay, on your back, cycle crunch. Basically, you have his feet in the air, combining him on the floor, opposite elbows, opposite knees. We really get that rotation. Down. Go. The more you rotate, the more you're going to work the oblique, the oblique muscles. Halfway. Stop. Okay, step me back, guys. Glutes bridge walkout, okay? So, hips off the ground, on your heels. And you're going to walk out. One, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can feel this bit in your hamstrings. If you're struggling here, you can't walk, just hold in the air. Yeah. Okay, like so. But I'll stay on this for a moment. Richard can show you that one. Almost there. Stop. And stop. Great, so okay, again, you can stay on your back, it's a starfish crunch, wide arms, wide legs, and you're gonna meet in the middle, like so. Five rounds down, go. You can't meet right in the middle, just do what I'm doing here, bring your legs more to the body, as long as those shoulders come off the ground. Halfway. Nice and slow the way down as well. Okay, onto your front, it's the opposite movement now. A prone starfish pulse, so one arm, wide legs, and you just come up off the ground both together at the same time, arms and legs. Six rounds down. So just up. And down. Let's keep it controlled and slow, but try and get as much movement as you can. Range of movement. Halfway. That's great. Up. Good, stay in front, it's a plank jack. Which you can do on his elbows, I'm going to do a straight arm version. Eight is my shoulder, but this one's a bit of an easier option. Seven rounds down. Go. Okay, so we should do the doubles. I can do the singles here. So one arm, one leg out, back to the middle, other uh, right back to the middle. Or if you're doing this version and you feel like you can do a double, that's great. It's a little bit easier on your hands, I find. Keep that core nice and tight, not too much bouncing. Stop. Great. Okay, stand up. Some legs now, in, out, squats. So stay down low, out, and back to the middle. I'm going to do the single leg version. Eight rounds down. Go. So I'm going single leg out, back into the middle, but staying low. You don't come up in between. <coughs> Just 25 seconds of each exercise. You can really put the work in. Nearly there. Stop. And stop. Okay, great. Okay, body hollow with the knee taps. So again, legs in the air, 
Hands are about two inches away from the knees and just pulsing up down. with the shoulders. Good. And the hands are going to touch the knees. Okay, harder version, just stay up, keep the shoulders to the ground. My side, if you bring your shoulders right back down. Halfway. Yeah, great. In between. So I've got two exercises after this. Stuff. Good. Okay, so 180 degree squat jump. I'm going to show you the 90 degree one, which you can do 180. Use the arms. 10 rounds down. Go. Okay, so I'm going 90. Round to the right, back to the middle, round to the left. We should do the 180 there. Where? Use the arms to propel yourself into the air. It gets quite tiring on tomorrow, this one. Stop. Okay, great. Okay, last one, let me get a break. Forward, back, and dash. A few steps forward, touch the ground, a few steps back. 11 rounds down. Good. Again, okay. straight back as you come down. This way protects your lower back and isolates the legs. That's it. We're touching one hand on the way forward, press the ground the other hand on the way back. Almost there. Stop. And stop. Alright, good. Do the things a little bit. 12 rounds down. So this is a bit of a workaround really, for me. Prepared the shoulder a couple of weeks ago. You don't have to sit around waiting for it to heal. There's other things you can do. Just work other parts of the body. Keep mentally positive. Very tough when you get injured. Sometimes you focus on that. Just do what you can. Whew, okay. So let's get ready. Bottom half squat pulse. You have completed one cycle. Go. Look down and just squat the bottom. Just double breathing a little bit from the last one. So try and regulate that breathing now. Halfway. Just the smaller the movement, the harder it is. And toe facing forward if you can. Get as low as you can. Stop. Okay, wonderful. Plank on your hands this time. Okay, I'll be doing it on my knees, onto the hands, which is on your toes. Come out as far as you can. Walk around down. So you work on your core. Suck that core in. Halfway. Keep it going, folks. You're going to go on your feet for the next one. Forward, backward lunge will be next. Stop. Good. Okay. So lunge forward, lunge backwards. I'll break it down into two separate movements for the intermediate side here. Two rounds down. Good. So forward, back to middle, and then back. Forward, back to middle, back. Which is going straight through. You can do this with weights as well, to make it harder. Halfway. Change legs. Just hang a couple of uh, dumbbells in each hand to this one. That give you a lot of hard work. Start. Okay, good. Cycle crunch. Elbow to knee. I'm keeping my feet on the ground and just raising opposite to opposite. Which is legs in the air. And rounds down. Go. Alright. Halfway. Almost there. Stop. Very good. Stay on your back, it's that glute to bridge walkout, so hips off the ground. 
on your heels and just walking out. Four rounds down. Go right. up. One, two, three, four. It's quite hard the further out you get. Halfway. Keep the hips high. Good. Stop. Well done. Okay, stay on your back. It's that starfish crunch, right? Wide arms, wide legs, knees in the middle, or you bring the legs more to the body like I'm doing, as long as the shoulders come off the ground. Down. Go. Put your scooping feet off the ground as you come back down, <coughs> but you can just bring them to the floor each time. Just by doing that, the core is constantly working here, You're not getting a break. Keep it going. Stop. Good. Onto your front. It's that prone starfish. So one arm, one leg, but lying on your front, and you're just lifting arms and legs off the ground at the same time. Down. Go. Like so. If you feel this in your lower back, it's important to work the back of the body as well. Halfway. We're going to stay on our front for the next one. Stop. Okay, so pipe jack. Get on my hands, either the single leg or the double leg. I'll show you both. Which is on his elbows. Seven rounds down. Good. So that's a single. Like there. And we can do the doubles. Keep that core tight. Bit of core, bit of cardio here. Half the way. In there. Standing up, in and out of squats. Again, I'm doing the single leg version, which is doing the double. Eight rounds down. Down low. <coughs> Stay low. Great. 
All right. Okay, so Mary. 12 rounds down. So, it starts off quite easy. The second round is definitely harder. The third will, will feel it. So, great work so far, guys. Let's keep it going. Halfway. Okay. Do a dab one now. I hope I'm hard today. <sighs> Not slept much sleep yet, maybe that's, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, for sure. You have completed two cycles. So, Go. bottom half squat pops. If you get any excuse. Again, you don't, you don't have to indulge this weekend, you're going to be feeling it. Okay, uh, you don't encourage it, thinking loads, then exercising, but sometimes you'll let your hair down a bit. But make sure you're more healthy more of the time. Stop. Come oh, on, that's, that's good. Okay, plank on your hands. Straight arm. I'm doing it on my knees, which is on his toes. For a bit more difficulty. One round down. Go. Chest over the hands, lock that core in there. So we're going off feet again for the next one. Forward or backward lunge. Start. Okay, lovely. So forward backward lunge. I'm going to split it down into two, which is going all the way through without touching the floor. Two rounds down. Go. This leg that was stabilising, I'm right here. That's the right. That way. Okay, change legs. Stop. Great. Okay, only back, sucker crunch. Elbow to me. Three rounds down. Go. Go. So I'm slow and controlled. Range of movement. Halfway. Okay, on the floor. So glute bridge walkout now. So on your back, hips in the air, and then you have the weight through the heels. And you're walking out and walking in. Four rounds down. Go. So that's it. If you come to that walking version, just hold the hips in the air and don't walk. Just keep your bottom close to the heel like this and just hold in the air. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Or you do that walk out. Wait. You really feel those hamstrings when you extend those legs a bit further out. Stop. Good. Okay, staying in the back again. Starfish crunch, wide arms, wide legs, meeting in the middle, or <coughs> legs meeting towards the body, which I'm going to do. Five rounds down. Go. Whatever version you do, just keep it slow and controlled. On the way down as well, don't straight legs to the floor. Excuse me. <laughs> Bless you. Stop. Okay, wonderful. On your fronts, it's that prone starfish. Again, yeah, wide arms, wide legs, just lifting both off the ground. Six rounds down. Go. That's good. Really important to get Monday off to a good start. We always say, just sets the tone, doesn't it? You start well, you are going to finish well. You don't just ride the week off, then, do you? Like anything. Stop. Great. Well done. 
Okay, so plank jack now. On your front, which is on his elbow, and on my hands. Protecting my shoulder a bit here. Yeah. Round and down. Good. Okay, single. Gets the heart rate raised, especially if you do the doubles. Keep that really core tight, it's still important. Don't sacrifice speed, you're not protecting your lower back from your core. Stop. Okay, great. Four exercises to go on this main section in that squat. Now I'm doing the single leg ones, Richard doing the doubles. Eight rounds down. Good. Go 
I'll show you this. One, two, three, and then come back. So five. I'm going for a big jump to that. One more for me. And it's side shuffle touch until the minute is up. Feeling the legs down, especially after we've done in the main section. Stop. And stop. Okay, front half back. Let's get ready. Floor sky jumps. Five off. One round down. Go. Again, small jumps. One, two, three. Halfway. If you do the small jumps, it will take a bit longer. Nice. If your vine takes a bit longer each round, let's get through those five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. One more time. One more minute and we're done. Full sky. Three rounds down. Go. Matthew Wilson, well done. Matthew Wilson, good lad. Good lad. All right. That's one of the harder ones we've done for a while at the end. 
Into my stick tonight. Yeah, cool. Woo! Okay, relax. Best recover. You know, it's like John, when we say anything towards the end, then let's go, come on, yeah, come on. <laughs> That's because I was battered. Rooty. Okay, so let's do some knee hugs. So arms behind the head. Just grab a knee, pull towards you for two seconds. Straighten up. This is the best bit, folks. You know, when you've done, you've done the hard work. Keep saying it, but that sets the tone for your whole week. The same with work. If you do all the easy jobs at the start, you're always dreading a big hard chore that you're avoiding. If you do it at the start, you are broken the back of it, the weight's going to go a lot smoother. Okay. Leg round over the top. So if you going to the left, let me. Look to the right, keep the shoulders on the ground. Great. So good news that we're going to allow our gyms to open for next week. It's great for us. Yeah, fantastic news. Get people back into it before Christmas. Great, chase sides. That's the key, isn't it? Yeah, there's going to be a lot more social, social activities during Christmas, but you've got to keep your exercise going so you're not feeling twice as bad in January. It's a bad bug, but anyway, if you keep your fitness, keep your exercise during your holiday period, you're going to reap the benefits in 2021. Excellent, folks. Okay. You're going to do a little stretch here. It's a bit like a child's pose. Feet together, knees like you're going to pop. You're going to bring arm underneath. So the weight is on the underneath arm and it's pushing that towards you. You're not really stretching out the other arm too much. Okay, that's my time. Swap over arms. Excellent. Okay, let's stand up now. A lot of leg work today, so let's do our quads. I'm trying to do it freestanding. But use something to hold on to if you're wobbling, like me. It's hard when you've done a lot of leg work. Push the hips forward a bit. Feel the stretch higher up in the quad. Okay, chain legs. Breathing should be close to the normal now, getting back down to where it was. Hips forward. And we've got one final stretch to do, guys. Just do your hamstrings both together, back of the legs. It looks strange, lean down towards the floor. Tuck the head in. Let's hold that for 30 seconds. Nice deep breaths. Again, do any specific stretches after this. If you've got any injuries or problem areas, do those as well, don't neglect those. Okay, slowly back up. Where are folks? Remember Chief, we've got everyone's core and good legs. Okay, so nice work out there. Thank you for joining us. This has been Dylan's premium fitness training at home. Stay safe, stay strong, and we'll see you on the next workout. Oh, 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 oh,